104. What is the effect on the amount of solid MgOH2 that dissolves and the concentrations of Mg2 plus and OH minus when each of the following are added to a mixture of solid MgOH2 and water at equilibrium? Okay, now I already wrote the balanced equation for solid MgOH2 going into its two ions, Mg2 plus and OH minus. If you have any questions as to how this was made, check out number 104A. That rhymed. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So if you want to figure out um, how this was you know, put together, just check out 104A and the answer will be there. But we're going to get right into it. Now remember, KOH, this is a strong base, right? Strong bases dissolve 100% of the time into its two ions. So we're adding KOH to this mix. Well, what are the ions for KOH? Well, it's got to be K plus and OH minus. Now, if you're adding KOH, that means that we are increasing the amount of KOH, which means that we would be increasing the amount of K plus and OH minus. But now, how am I going to go from here to here? Well, there's got to be a similarity, right? Or at least something reacting. But in this case, I see that I have OH minus and I got OH minus. Does not matter that I have two of them here, but I have hydroxide in both of them. So if I increase my KOH, that means that I increase my OH minus, and that means that my OH minus will increase. So I answered one out of the three questions. I found out what happened to the OH minus, but now I need to figure out what's going to happen with these two. Well, this goes back to Le Chatelier's. We're adding here. That means that we have too much. And when you have too much, you will always shift to the opposite side. So you're adding over here. You want to go in the opposite direction. So if you're adding OH minus here, I want to shift to the reactant side. I want to go away. And wherever you're going to MgOH2, that's going to increase. So I got two answers now. And now if you're producing MgOH2, that means that it had to have come from Mg2+. So this will go down. And that's it. There are your three answers. So we have an increase in MgOH2, we got a decrease in Mg2+, and we have that increase in OH- because that's what we made. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.